Okay, we're uh, on a 24 by 50 RV port. Uh, we just built our trusses. Okay, so this is a this is your center truss, your peak, and this is your web web bracket web bracket. Uh, this is your web web bracing for the trusses, and they go all the way through there. You got your center bolts for that, which are all impact. This is your center stringer for your collar ties. And then you got your outer ones on each end, which are all, if you look at them, they are all actually in the book. It says uh, six screws holds that together. And we always go three and a half, an inch and three quarters. Um, I like mine straight, as you can see. I like to, I like things to look good. So, but anyways, that's a collar tie. And then these are the BK60, um, which are your collar tie brackets. As you can see, there's a lot of screws in these. There's two, four, six, eight. So there's 16 screws in each each bracket and there's two brackets so that's 32 by six eight yeah that's 32 screws just on those <laughs> and then of course you got your your bends of your legs your leg bends this is the center part of your truss sorry i keep forgetting this is your center part of your truss it goes from the peak to the legs and it bends down and then it goes to to the rest of your leg here which attaches to your base rope and then again we put four screws um i run out of screws because I don't, I, I want it strong. I mean, I, I really do. I, I just don't want to, I don't want to chance two screws and then have my building move. Okay, so what we find is to find the center of the peak, we pull our tape from end to here. And it, on the two by fours, it's usually 51 and 5 eighths. And you can double check them. I always double check to make sure it's right. So it's 51 and 5 eighths this way too. So I make a mark on the, uh, on the frame itself. And that helps you also where you put the bracket so you know the bracket's gonna be right at center. So the center screw is on the center bracket. So you know your 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 uh, web bracing is gonna be in the center. Also that helps us when we stand our trusses, we actually clamp a board on each end. We run a string line from top and we pull the trusses to get them straight on there and then we brace them. And then that way they're all straight and then we can go ahead and start putting our hat channel on so that way you get a really nice straight building. So that's why we find the center of our trusses because that radius is so wide, you're never gonna eyeball it. It's just, you're gonna be off somewhere. So that's just a quick thing we do, 51 to 5 eighths on the fours. The, three, the two by threes are different. I think it's, I can't remember what it's like, three eighths, something like that, but anyways, that's the purpose of us are doing a mark right there so we can uh, string line our lines, and you'll see that in a little bit. We'll stand them up, and we'll uh, do some string lines. 